European Spallation Source is a world-class multidisciplinary research centre to be built on the outskirts of Lund in the south of Sweden. Located in the cross-border region of Sweden and Denmark, in the middle of the dynamic region of Oresund, we have the opportunity to create a world centre for materials research. The history of the Oresund region is more than 1,000 years old, from a time when Scania, the southern part of Sweden, still belonged to Denmark. Its history is told in the many impressive castles still standing in the area, surrounded by beautiful and peaceful countryside. The region also features a rich cultural life. Lund is located close to the third largest city in Sweden, Malmö. Lund's University, founded in the 17th century, is a member of the international collaboration, the Öresund University, which consists of 12 universities and six science parks. It is a highly suitable location due to its strong research infrastructure that's already established in the region. It will be a crossroads where scientists meet and generate new ideas. This is possible thanks to an expansive infrastructure in the region and with Copenhagen Airport, the largest airport in Northern Europe, only 45 minutes away. ESS Scandinavia is working to create ESS in Lund. With its excellent communications, Lund has a strategic location right in a centre that has already distinguished itself within a range of strong fields of research. On the site, north of Lund, a similar facility, but using synchrotron light, is also planned, MAX-4. Together, ESS and MAX-4 will create a world-leading centre for materials research. The technique that is used to produce the beams of neutrons is called spallation. The facility consists of four important sections. In the ion source, protons are generated and used to release neutrons from the target. The protons are accelerated through a linear accelerator before reaching the target station, where the separation of neutrons, the so-called spallation process, takes place. In the linear accelerator, the protons are accelerated close to the speed of light. When the protons reach the target station, they impact the atoms in the target material, which emit the neutrons. The neutrons then travel through beam guides out to the experimental stations, the so-called instruments. Thanks to beams of neutrons, researchers can study sensitive samples like biological materials, which can be damaged if they are examined using X-rays. ESS can be used to find new ways to create and to store energy. Knowledge gained with the help of neutrons exists in materials and devices in our everyday life. Researchers can study proteins and other biological materials and thereby develop more efficient medicines with fewer side effects. With nanotechnology, we can create new materials with improved characteristics. The technique has been used for developing the properties of paint, which is both weather-resistant and environmentally friendly. The ESS can be used to develop new technology, which cleans polluted soil without its losing its nutrition. With new materials, we can reduce the exhaust emissions from engines and create more efficient combustion processes. Lund is a remarkable environment where new ideas and innovation become reality. In Lund, world-leading research within life science, clean tech and information technology is carried out here. Large international companies are located side by side with smaller, innovative companies and incubators. A collaboration with innovation, industry and commerce.
ESS will be up to 100 times brighter than its forerunners. Lund is the city of ideas and the place where the science of tomorrow can become reality. Open up the world to tell the why Morning come to tell me when they'll smile I know why Nowhere in this world Why oh, can show you time 